As a teacher at a university, there are hundreds of little decisions that add up to a radically different student experience. You need to choose learning objectives, choose assessments, choose learning activities, and choose how to present content. Knowing how to implement all of this is important, but it's not much good knowing how to implement strategies if the strategies themselves don't work. So Inspire is fundamentally about helping you to choose and use the best teaching strategies, to choose the ones that work rather than the ones that don't. Now these good decisions rely on three inputs. First, experts develop skills and knowledge over time, meaning their judgment is a critical component for making a decision. For example, those of us who've been teaching at universities for a while have some intuition about what works and what doesn't. But decisions also depend on the context, like the values and preferences of different stakeholders. We might adapt our teaching on the basis of the student cohort or different university policies. But as we know, both preferences and experts are prone to biases. Our confirmation bias might mean that we neglect strategies we haven't heard of, or students might prefer passively listening to lessons, even if they know it's better if they're actively engaged. Because of biases like these, good decisions also use best practice research evidence. We say best practice because, as you know, there are lots of different types of evidence. Here are four examples, and they're arranged in what's called the hierarchy of evidence. That's because all of them are important, but the things on the top build on the ones from the bottom. A series of case studies might become a longitudinal study, which might become a randomized trial, which then a whole lot of randomized trials become a systematic review. When we're trying to use evidence to make decisions, we can try to fit in all this stuff at the bottom, but then we're trying to balance a whole lot of different research on the same topic. We're trying to weigh up different case studies, different longitudinal studies, all of which have different, often conflicting results. It's a really inefficient and difficult way of using research to inform our decisions, so it's easy to make mistakes. So, what Inspire is designed to do is help you inform your decisions with systematic reviews. By filling your research bubble with this best practice evidence, it's easier to make good decisions more efficiently. Doing so allows you to be across more high quality research, and it is much less likely that you're gonna end up making biased or incorrect decisions. We know you already make good teaching decisions. After all, you decided to watch this video, but we wanna help good decision makers become great and we hope Inspire makes that easier for you.